Hey guys, it's Alex here from Workshop 12. Today is gonna to be another interesting video. Um, we have done a torture test on a GMC Sierra where we pushed it to the limits in terms of throwing things on the screen, scratch testing it, etc. But some of you also wanna know, well, how does the Ford F-150 screen hold up? And is it just as durable? It is, or is it not? I have no idea, let's find out. So what are some of the tools that we're gonna be using today? We're gonna to be using an X-Acto knife. We're gonna be using a screwdriver where we're gonna kind of dig in there. We're gonna be using a little drill where we're gonna kind of, same thing, see if we can even maybe drill a hole through this thing, I don't know. And then we're gonna be using some wire cutters to kind of dig in there. And of course, um, a little uh, U-line, uh, pocket knife here where we're gonna also see if we can scratch uh, the crap out of the screen. Let's not waste any more time because I learned my lesson from last time we made our GMC torture video uh, 18 minutes long and it's probably because uh, your boy talks way too much. Uh, nonetheless, let's get a close-up look and see what we're working with. Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna do is grab the X-Acto knife. Three, two, one. I am putting quite a bit of force here, guys. I promise you. Okay, now we'll try the switchblade. Oh, I'm seeing little tiny scratches here, but I'm like really pushing as hard as I can. Okay. Now we'll try the uh, wire cutters here. Now we'll try the um, flathead or uh, Phillips. And the drill. Now we're gonna clean it. They, there are like extreme fine scratches that you can barely even see. I don't even know if the camera will tell, but there is like one little scratch right here. Um, Kind of hard to see guys, I'm sorry, but there is um, very tough because of the glare, I guess, here, but anywho, uh, there are no scratches on here. I don't know how else to torture this screen. I'm trying to make it as realistic as I possibly can. So, so guys, as you can see, I mean, we, tortured it with um, these tools. I don't know how to make this more realistic for you guys. Like, uh, I don't know, I can throw dirt at it and stuff, but I mean, if an X-Acto knife or a, a, a U-line uh, switch blade can't scratch the screen, I don't know if a dirt, throwing dirt at it will scratch it. Um, guys, give me some recommendations on what you want me to do to it. I really don't know. And I guess this is just to kind of show you that, do you really need a screen protector on this screen? Um, probably not. But the only time that you might want a screen protector is um, for UV uh, screen protectors, which has a little blue film, which we now started to sell on our website. So you'll be able to pick one of those up. Um, and it's also matte finish, so it won't give you much of a glare. That being said though, um, if you're getting a screen protector to protect it from scratches, I mean, I probably wouldn't waste the money on that um, due to the fact that, I mean, look at the results for yourself. Um, let me know if you guys want me to throw something at it or something like that. I mean, last time I threw something from 15 feet away with the uh, GMC Sierra, it wasn't, um, 
I mean, it broke the screen, but that's because I threw the um, uh, wire cutters from 15 feet away. And I mean, I don't really think that those are more realistic type of tests that will be in an automotive setting. So I'm trying to kind of give you more of a, an actual true usage um, scratch kind of testing in case you had um, a Windex bottle or like um, and you're cleaning the screen and you accidentally hit the screen like with a Windex bottle. Um, actually, that's a great idea. Let me go grab um, a Windex bottle. Um, actually, Sonus, can you grab me that tire shine or um, actually grab me the uh, fire thing there because that's um, like the invisible glass. The Windex bottle is plastic. So let's grab this. Thank you. So if you were cleaning the screen, let's say, I mean, this is for fires, but let's say it was like invisible glass to clean the screen and you're, and you're here cleaning the screen, it's connected to your dash and you're like, okay, you spray and now you're like, oh crap, holy crap, oh my God, is this going to break the screen? No, it's not going to break the screen. So um, the screen is very durable, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys want me to throw on it um, or other things you want me to test on it. And I don't mind doing another update video on it. And um, I guess that's it, guys. If you have any questions or you guys need any assistance and anything, you know where to find us. My name's Alex from Workshop 12, and it's always a pleasure to assist. Thank you, and have a great day. Peace.